Safety is an illusion, and today's illusion that we're going to break is VPNs. VPNs do not guarantee safety as much as their companies that provide them will make you believe that they do. And we're going to break into that today why I believe that cloud computing and cloud computers and cloud business environments are better for you than a VPN. Here, I believe in cloud computing. I'm a very big advocate for it. And I also do cybersecurity on my channel, and that's what we're really diving into here today is security when it comes to cloud computing. Now, just to start off, just to understand where when you, every time you see an advertisement for a VPN, they promise you that's the safest thing in the world and really understand what a VPN is. It's just a secure connection between point A and point B, one network to another. And in between that, some VPNs, they'll say it's the most, they have encryption, but a lot of the time, some of them have weak encryption or they might not even have encryption because it's not set up. They make you believe that they have encryption, but they don't. You think that well, everything you search and everything is safe, but let's say, for example, that maybe you did something wrong. That if the government wants to, or any, any gov government agency, if they really want to, they can ask the VPN provider for your information, everything that you did, and they'll hand it over to them. So there's no real safety there because everything that you're, you believe that is private is not private. Your data and stuff is being collected, your metadata, everything from the VPN. The best things you can do is proxy chaining. So basically you take a proxy server, which is kind of like a VPN, but it's not the, uh, what happens is you take your IP address, you go to a server, you ask that server to get a request for you. That server now handles that request and then whatever website doesn't know you exist, but it sent it to the proxy server and the proxy server hands you the information. So it's like a middleman. So think of a middleman handling businesses and deals for you. This way it's harder for point C to understand where point A is coming from. Now when you do proxy chaining, you're having multiple middlemen. So for example, if you connect to the Tor network, which I'm going to be making a video in my uh, YouTube channel here about how to access the dark web safely, you add multiple middlemen. So in case of Tor browser, you end up with three proxy servers. And in between all those middlemen is your request to the server and you. And that is a better protecting you when it comes to keeping private and, and people not finding your location, etc. That would be a better service for you because proxy chaining is just safer. Um, a VPN is still not bad. It's about that layer of security. Um, I mean, it, it does provide some security benefits, but it's also very misleading. And the way these companies are advertising these VPNs, they charge a crazy amount of money promising protection um, for the, the end user. And, and unfortunately, your grandmother believes all this stuff, so she pays for the top tier VPN. Come to find out, she still clicks on that phishing link in her email, and, and she's compromised, and she doesn't know. The VPN didn't stop the phishing attacks. The VPN doesn't stop layer eight, which is the user. Now, when I say layer eight, that's the OSI model. There's like a kind of a joke when it comes to IT people, but the, the, your weakest link is the user. Now, keep in mind, now we're gonna jump into business environments. So I can guarantee you most business practices, especially private businesses and uh, small businesses, they do not have secure network. They do not have the secure firewalls. Um, they don't have the up-to-date stuff. They're not constantly behind the scenes upgrading their stuff. They're not educating their users. They're not doing any of that. And it leaves them very vulnerable. Now, if you were to have a cloud environment, now Shadow PC, I'm partnered with them. That's why I'm using that in this video. You're going to see a lot of that stuff in the background here. They offer two services. One for just the everyday Joe that wants a home cloud computer where they can log into anywhere and they have a computer on their phone, their tablet, any device that's able to connect to the internet. You can pretty much run a full Windows operating system from anywhere. Save your files in the cloud. You can do everything. Edit videos. Um, you can Anything you can think of on a Windows computer, you can handle it in the cloud from any device. Now that's the, the local user standpoint. Now let's talk about the business world environment. So the whole environment is being controlled and off site. So you may not be able to afford now the thing. I understand we back up a second. This is important when it comes to the in business environment. I can guarantee you again that the businesses lack security. Now what you should be doing. And I think that's a better than a VPN is if you have a cloud service or cloud infrastructure, if you're a business, you want to go to the cloud because you can't afford the latest and greatest. You can't afford a security team that most big companies can. Even big companies are at risk. They should be loading everything to the cloud. It, 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 you're putting something into a different environment that's more controlled. And most of them are virtual computers. They're not 
physical computers that need to be that lack updates. So there's a lot of benefits to cloud computing. Major servers themselves are constantly being updated. I guarantee you the cloud service providers security is going to be way better than yours ever could be. And not to dive too deep into it, but at the end of the day, I, I really think the work environment is just a risky place to be. I don't think you're ever going to be able to fix layer eight, fix the user making simple mistakes and clicking on a wrong link. I constantly am fixing stupid mistakes at work. I work in IT as a full-time job and I'm basically help desk. And I can't tell you how many times people click on links and they still like they click on the link. They'll make a mistake and click on the link. And they got to clear the computer and isolate it, et cetera. And then they'll make the same mistake again. Cause there's P I really feel like people just don't care in the work environment because it's not my business. I just work here. And if you're somebody that owns a business, you got to protect yourself from that. That kind, and, and it stinks because it's just the environments we work in now. The younger generation doesn't really care too much about uh, the the work family business thing. We're a family, and granted, I, I get where they stand from. I get where this generation stands from when it comes to that. Which I just this is just a job, but that also comes with a lot of risk. You're putting a company, uh, somebody else's livelihood at risk, um, just because you're lazy or you just don't care. We don't believe you get paid enough. Again, the cloud services help clean up that kind of a mess where you don't have to worry about really much of anything. You just you pay a monthly fee, better security, better control. I mean, it, everything's transparent. Um, again, a VPN is very misleading. Uh, they, they it, it is a layer of security. Like it's as if you are, I mean, you could put two locks in your front door, but it doesn't prevent somebody from kicking it in or going through the window. I mean, there's other ways people can get in now cloud services aren't a, a, a bulletproof they're 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 not invincible but a cloud service is much less likely to be compromised than a local business you can drop a flash drive in a parking lot connect to the computer now it's compromised the whole business is compromised someone leaves their phone in the park or something i mean the the user will be the weakest link at the end of the day it will be the user especially when you have your whole work environment in the cloud just because the person's local machine gets compromised doesn't mean that the whole work infrastructure in the cloud is now compromised so at the end of the day when it comes to vpn versus a cloud service or a cloud computer if you want something a little bit more secure and you want something more flexible let's talk about even the flexibility of a cloud computer I can log into my computer from any device. I can log into my Windows computer on a Linux machine. I, I can do all my personal stuff on this cloud computer by baking information or whatever it is. Me, I use it for gaming, video editing. I use it for everything. To me, it's safer to do it on there than my local computer. My local computer stores stuff, and especially with Windows, is going to be eventually uh, saving screenshots of everything you do. They're calling it instant recall with AI, whatever stuff they're saying. It's going to be used for good, which we all know sounds a little off but at the end of the day i mean even when if you want to move to linux and then you still need a windows computer on the side to do some other business the cloud computing might be a little bit better um it might help you with that migration i know i've been migrating myself to being a full-time linux user but when i need windows i have it sometimes you just need windows just you gotta watch out because vpns you know there's a lot of things out there that give you a false sense of security and in the world where this cyber stuff is constantly changing evolving and it's not just the good evolving the bad is it's a con constant cat and mouse game and a vpn has more points of failure where if you have a cloud service it handles pretty much everything you just gotta log in and if your local machine gets compromised the cloud machine doesn't and at the end of the day, it's how many points of failure do you have? If you have a local company, you have local infrastructure, and um, someone compromises a computer, now everything is compromised in that local environment. Now the workers use working from home. So that's another thing, too, is that a lot of people work from home now. So if you're using a VPN to log into your work area, you, to, you VPN to log into work, and you end up compromising something at work, now that's all compromised because of your laziness at home. It's the, the user is the weakest link. And I just believe that cloud services are the better solution than a VPN at the end of the day. Again, VPNs, and especially if you're trying to be someone that's, I want I want to access the internet privately. I don't want people to know my IP address and this and that. I, I want to 
I want this sense of I want to be able to have freedom of speech and maybe you don't live in a country where you can say things that you want to say. A VPN will sell you out in a heartbeat. As soon as the government knocks on the door, it says, hey, I need that information. Who's that user? What has he been doing? Here you go. Doesn't matter if you're on a VPN or not. So you want to protect yourself and better protect yourself. Um, use proxy service. And again, proxy chaining is it's still not bulletproof. I mean, you could they could do the same thing to a proxy server and say, hey, I want this guy's information or government. But if you use three servers, one in like Germany, one in Africa, one in Sweden, and like you make it, it's, they, I guarantee you like they're not going to, by, by the time, it's not worth like, like, it would take so much effort and it's just, it's very unlikely for to pursue something like that. Is it impossible? No, but better than having a user believe that their stuff's safe when there really isn't. I mean, and at the end of the day, having a cloud environment will be better at keeping things safe than a local environment that is not up to date, that can't keep things up to date and can't afford the staff to keep things up to date and to educate their users. It's just, there you go, log into the cloud and the cloud deals with everything. It's makes it easier. So that's why I think cloud services and why companies like Shadow PC are very valuable. I think having a cloud computer is a very valuable thing. I think it helps cut it. it Definitely helps cut down with e-waste. You can have an old computer and run a full Windows high-end machine. Uh, constantly is being updated in the background. You're never going to have an old cloud computer. It's going to keep uh, updating itself. While your local PC, you have to do all the updates and stuff yourself. Um, security things. It's If you want peace of mind, you just want to use a computer and not to think too much about it, cloud computing is the way to go. And be careful what you people tell you that this is safe. This is not safe. Reality is everything is not safe. It's just layers of protection. And some layers of protection are better than others. And VPNs are becoming something of the past. They're still necessary. But it doesn't offer the security everybody thinks. They think it's an, it's an impenetrable thing. So.